Hey, what's up guys? Ben here, and welcome to your 14th installment of, um, of the FRC to Team 2485 Robotics Java Programming Tutorial videos. And today, we're almost at Autonomous, we're almost there, um, but before we get there, we have to talk about, um, the way we do auto, we're not command based, we're not doing like a command based robot, so we have to like make our own subsystems and kind of, we have our own auto structure, which is in the uh, re repo that you cloned. Um, so, it should be pretty easy to work with. We really like the way that it works. Um, I don't know, there, I'm sure there, <laughs> maybe there are like better ways or something, but this has been working for us, so happy to pass it on. Um, <laughs> GP, right? So, <laughs> um, if you come into auto sequenced items, I'm just going to explain how run rollers works and kind of how the structures works in this video. And then next time we're going to kind of create our own auto sequence and see how all of that works. So, um, run rollers. So basically, it's kind of a weird model, but it's a class that is an auto sequence. And the class implements se implements sequenced item, and we can click into that and see it's just an interface with a run and a duration method. Um, so you see we have override run, override duration, and then we have the constructor and the fields. So um, run rollers is pretty simple. It's just a quick little autonomous routine where um, you can say how long you want it to run and the speed that you want it to run at. And you'd store those into um, into class variables. But um, I did a little bit of air checking here just to make sure if you give it like a, um, ooh, I guess that's not good. It shouldn't be. Uh, let's say if math.abs of the speed, so the absolute value of the speed. Wait, I can't get an absolute value less than zero. Um, less than, shoot, is less than negative 1, 1 1.0, then we're going to set it to negative 1.0. Um, if it is greater than 1, then we're going to set it to the speed, so if it's anywhere between negative 1 and 1, then we're going to set it to the speed. And if it's um, anything else, so like the only thing else it could be would be uh, like above one, then you would set it to just one. So you're kind of failing silently and you're just capping it at those max speeds. Um, if you don't like failing silently, then you can um, make that different. I guess I don't really like failing silently either, but it's easy, I guess, in this case. Um, so I have two methods here, run and duration, and every sequenced item is going to have both a run and a duration method. And the run, basically what it sounds like, it just does what you want the thing to do. And remember how I talked about, ooh, exciting, I talked about how in the robot, the robot class, um, you have to make these subsystems public static. And that's because here, you're going to be calling the rollers, you're going to be getting that rollers object from the robot. So it's like a public static um, variable. The rollers is a public static variable in robot. That's where you're able to get it. Um, so uh, you get the rollers, and then you set the intake speed to the speed. And that's why you saved it into the um, constructor. Or in the constructor, you saved it into the class variable. And then the other one that every all of them have is duration. And so this one is really easy. You're just saying how long you want to run the rollers. So you set the duration to be that long. Um, and so now, after you do all that, you have a run rollers sequenced item that you can then later on put into a sequence. So that's pretty cool. Um, next time, we're going to be talking about how to make a uh, retract ratchet uh, sequenced item. And that one should be probably simpler. Um, so I uh, hope to see you then. I hope these videos are helpful, and um, thanks for joining us. All right, see you next time.